Hello fellows. Welcome to Xtool 101. This is Captain Laser from Xtool. In this lesson, you are going to learn everything you need to start your Xtool M1 journey. First, we are going to learn how to connect Xtool Creative Space with your M1. Then we are going to go through all the essential knowledge to finish your first project. This lesson is ideal for anyone who wants to learn about Xtool Creative Space and M1 from scratch. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to create your project with our recommended settings. Here's the table of content. Also, to help you quickly jump to the specific tutorial sections, the timestamp is below in the progress bar. Now let's jump in and get started. Let's start the lesson with a quick introduction of what we need today. First you'll need a piece of 3mm base wood plywood, which you can find in the material package that comes with the Xtool M1 machine. And then, you'll need a computer to install the Xtool Creative Space software. And of course, you'll need a Xtool M1. Make sure your M1 is connected to the power supply and turn on the power switch on the back of the machine. Then you need to download and install Xtool Creative Space on your computer. Xtool Creative Space, also known as XCS, is the software we developed specifically for Xtool machines. You can use Xtool Creative Space to design your graphics and adjust your process settings. With the smart image processing function and motion algorithm that works great with Xtool laser machines, it allows you to create your works in the most effective way. After XCS is installed, you can now connect your computer with your M1. There are two ways to connect your M1 with XCS, connect via USB and connect via Wi-Fi. For first-time users, please connect your M1 via USB. After you successfully connect your M1 for the first time, you can then switch to Wi-Fi connection later. To connect your M1 via USB, please connect your computer with M1 using the cable that comes with your M1 first. Click connect device and wait for your device to show up under the devices list. After it showed up, select your device. And now they have been successfully connected. To connect your M1 via Wi-Fi for the first time, and select setting under basic info. Then select your network and enter the password. Select next, and you have successfully connected them. After you successfully connected M1 via Wi-Fi, you can go ahead disconnect the USB cable. Next time when you connect your M1 via Wi-Fi, you don't need to connect your USB cable again. However, if you want to switch to a new Wi-Fi, you will need to connect USB cable with your M1 again. Then we need to select what mode we will use. For now, M1 supports 5 modes. Laser flat mode is used when you want to process your project on a flat surface like planks or dog tags. Laser cylindrical mode is used when you want to process your project on a round surface like cup or ring, and you'll need a rotary attachment to keep the surface rotate during processing. Open plane mode is used when you want to process your project on an object that's thicker than 6mm or whose length exceeds the size of M1, like skateboard or cutting board. You'll need to remove the base plate of your M1 to use this mode. Blade cut mode is used when you want to cut material that are flammable to laser, like paper, cardboard and heat transfer bottle that we use on t-shirt prints. Print and blade cut mode is used when you want to print one or more patterns on the material, like paper, sticker paper, PU leather, brown craft paper, then cut out the pattern with the blade module. Today we are going to process our project on flat wooden board, so we select laser flat here. Next step, select the material we are using here. If you use materials that are not from Xtool Store, you will need to select User Defined Material. If you use the material from Xtool Store, you can find from the material list. And for this lesson, we will select 3mm base wood plywood. Open the lid of your M1 and then place your wooden board on the base plate. Make sure the red dot appear on the surface center of your wooden board. Due to lens distortion, 
The placement of material displayed on XCS canvas will be a little bit different from the actual placement. Putting the material on the upper center of the base plate can best avoid lens distortion. Then close the lid of your M1. Select Auto Measure on Xtool Creative Space, so the machine can detect the thickness and size of your material. We are going to engrave a picture from the computer folder. We can select the image button on the left side toolbar to import the picture we want to use. You can also drag the picture into the canvas to import. The image I import is too large to display on the canvas, so I choose to scale it to fit the canvas. You can also choose to display the original size if you want. Next. We will need to set the process parameters for our project. Xtool have recommended parameter settings for most of the materials from Xtool store. So if you select Xtool selected reference, XCS will automatically use the recommended settings to process your project. However, the actual result of your project can be affected by a lot of things. For example, depreciation of your laser module, dust accumulation inside your machine, and so on. Also, when you use materials that are not from Xtool to process your project, even they look the same, the final result will also be different from each other. So when couldn't find a Xtool recommended setting that works for you, you can also select user defined parameters to customize your own settings. In this lesson, since there is a recommended settings for 3mm base wood plywood, I'm gonna go ahead and use Xtool selected reference. Then we are going to select process to start the processing of our project. After the loading is over, press start. Then press the big button on the front side of M1, and wait for the process to finish. Tomorrow. Voila! There you have it. A laser engraved paint that you can use to decorate your home or your office. That's all for today's lesson. If you want to learn more about Xtool and laser engraving, come join Captain Laser in the upcoming Xtool community. In Xtool community, you can share your experience of laser engraving and also learn from others. New tutorials, tips and tricks, and inspirations are posted every day. Please check the comments section for detailed information about Xtool community member recruitment. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below to tell Captain Laser what kind of topic you want me to make a lesson about. I'll see you in the next video.